Hey guys, Cisco Voice Dude here. Wanted to do another quick video, kind of on the prompts theme. I did a video earlier about using generated prompts within UCCX, and that's, you know, cool and all, but there's another type of prompt that can be really useful, and uh, that's a container prompt. And I'm not going to go into everything container prompts can do right here, but I want to show you the most basic example of how to use a container prompt. A container prompt is, if you want to think of it this way, a means of aggregating a collection of prompts, or at least the way I'm going to use it, and what we call concatenation mode, is a way of aggregating multiple prompts. So I've got multiple prompts in my system here. I've done a create container prompt, and the type is concatenation, and I've got various prompts defined. In fact, you'll see the variables down here, and they're all parameters to make configuring them easy. Again, look over here, and you'll see that I've put some WAV files to them. And what's going to happen here is with the type of concatenation, I'm going to play each of these prompts after each other. Now, keep in mind, this prompt could be something I've recorded, or it could be something that you've generated. So like when we created a generated prompt using a variable, to have the system speak back the digit 5, you know, it did so in a computer-generated voice. Whereas in my example here, I've tied these to WAV files. But, uh, you know, don't think that you can't mix and match them. You definitely can. So what's going to happen here is I'm using this in like a money example, and I'm going to basically read back to the user $5.28. And the container prompt is going to take all those individual prompts, put them together, create the output prompt, prompt read back, and it's going to play it back to me. Another thing I want to show you here that I haven't been doing, and honestly, I'm not um, as uh, attentive to doing it as I need to be, and that's a habit that I really need to break, is, and it it's comes in handy and come, becomes important when you start talking about reporting, is when I end a script or when I'm done with a contact, I really need to set the contact info to handled so that uh, UCCX reporting knows that the call is finished and is in a handled state because if I just drop the thing it has no idea whether it was an error or whether it was handled or what happens from a reporting st uh, standpoint anyway and I'm not the reporting guru so don't really ask me any reporting questions but uh, it's something I need to do so you'll see I'm doing it here and uh, with that said I've already created the wave files in fact if we go over here I'll play them for you so you see what to expect and I haven't tried this yet, so yeah, it looks like it wants me to set up Windows Media Player. Play. And, okay, maybe I won't play them back for you. It looks like Media Player does not like me for who cares what reason. You'll get the picture when we play through this. So, we'll go ahead and do a debug reactive script. And we'll pick the container prompts script. And we'll give it a wait time here. And again, this wait time is how long to sit there and tick away before the contact is triggered. So I'm triggering it now. And I think I called the 6,000. We're going to go ahead and answer the call. And accept the call. And prompt readback is going to become a prompt based on each of these individual prompts concatenated together. So now the prompt exists. And you'll see the value down here. Check this out. The prompt readback equals, and if you blow this thing out to where you can read it all, it shows you the individual prompts that it's combining, and you'll see that it shows 6001 plus 6002 plus 6003, etc. It shows you that it's concatenating them. So I'll go ahead and hit next, and we'll let you listen to the prompt as it plays back after being concatenated. So keep in mind, concatenation's already happened. It's created a prompt and stored it. Here's prompt readback. So here's the play. Five dollars and... 28 cents. And we'll set that contact info as handled and let the script end. So, pretty cool. Um, pretty simple to use. Remember, you know, combine this with the generated prompts, and you could very easily um, read from a database and create a generated prompt to, you know, have the balance of the money in your bank account. You know, so I could have a generated prompt that contains 28 and have the system read 28 back to me and then play dollars and etc. So I think you get the picture and uh, hopefully container prompts come in handy for you. And that's it for this video. Keep the comments coming. Let me know what you'd like to see and we'll try to uh, 
get some more content out there for you. So for now, take it easy. Voice Dude out.